like personally i'm not really into love triangles it's just not my thing and <laughs> All right, this one is for my Chinese drama lovers. If you're looking for your next unsolved mystery historical drama, keep watching. The Eight is a 2020 Chinese historical action drama set in the Chinese Republican era, where we meet college student Hua Ming Chu, played by Oh Hao, who just returned from China after studying in Japan for the last three years. So he arrives home and all of a sudden, a series of unexpected events leads him to be declared as the leader of this complicated underground society, where members are torn between folks who want to disband the society and folks who want to expand the society. And in his quest to understand this mysterious group and his role in all of the chaos, we watch him jump through numerous hoops and discover lots of twists and turns. This is one of my favorite Chinese dramas available on iQIYI. Side note, if you're interested in watching quality Chinese dramas, they're all on iQIYI. I think Netflix has one or two good dramas. It might have a handful of them and other streaming sites have also Chinese dramas. But honestly, iQIYI is truly where it's at for Chinese dramas. And it is a subscription-based service, but I do think you can watch things for free. Don't quote me on that because I definitely pay for membership, but it could, I, you gotta, you gotta check it out. You gotta check that out. Anyways, if you're considering watching this show, I highly recommend, especially if you like action dramas, fighting scenes, martial arts. It even has a little bit of romance in it, but I don't think it's central to the plot, in my opinion. It's there though, if you like that. If you're looking for more Asian drama recommendations, I post recommendation videos every Friday, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. So let's get into the nitty gritty of it all. In this upcoming section of the video, we're gonna talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about the show. If you haven't seen the show though, beware that there are spoilers, which may ruin your viewing experience if you haven't seen the show already. All right, let's talk about what I liked. I started watching this show because of Tan Sung Yoon, which she is in another historical drama that I really liked called Under the Power, also on iQIYI. And because I really liked that one, I thought I'd really like this one. And I did. I personally liked the premise of the show, underground society with secret different sex and specialized skills. It all sounded interesting to me. I'm really into like fantasy sci-fi kind of stuff and that's sort of where it was going with this. Um, the show incorporated a lot of twists and turns and I felt like that kept the viewer on their toes. I thought that the acting, especially from the main character, Ming Chu, was really good. I thought it was really great. I felt really invested in his character and I wanted to see him succeed in this journey that he was in. I also really liked how they wove in different stories and just little details that didn't necessarily add to the plot line, but it did add to the richness of the overall story. For example, I really liked the thief and the bum storyline. I thought it was really cute, the little romance that they were having. And I also liked the assassin and his sister. I thought that it was a bittersweet story, but it made the overall story feel very realistic. And then I really liked the fighting scenes. I thought that they were well choreographed and they were shot, uh, the way that they were shot in the scenes, it was really entertaining. So if you have an appreciation for fight scenes, I feel like you'll like this show a lot. Let's talk about what I didn't like. Personally, I'm not really into love triangles. It's just not my thing. And I was actually really happy that the sister slash other love interest person had a bigger role than just being the other girl that was into the main guy, which made her character more well-rounded and made the show more interesting, right? Other than that, though, I can't say I disliked much, to be honest. It was such a good show. And my final thoughts, this Chinese drama is one of my faves. Like I said, I highly encourage you to watch it if you haven't watched it already. If you have seen it, though, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Do you agree or disagree? Did you like the show? Did you not like the show? I would love to know. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and 
consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.